I mean, where do we start? Uh, first of all, uh, we were talking about um, uh, removing excise taxes uh, on oil last week. Medyo lumalakas yung panawagan dyan, but there's also pushback from government. They're very conscious of the revenue that might be foregone. Again, how do we strike a balance, sir? Well, I think uh, looking at the economy in the context of, uh, or uh, looking at its structure, uh, I think we can be guided by that. Our economy is consumer driven. Once the economy, uh, once the economy's major engine is weakened, the economy uh, will slow down. So uh, the uh, rising prices in oil uh, is a threat and a uh, potential weakening of our consumer. And once our consumers get weakened, our economy will suffer. So when the government talks about uh, removing excise tax, they should also take into consideration what if the consumers can no longer uh, afford uh, what they need to buy in the market. The, the, uh, the, uh, the economy will slow down. So it's like, uh, it's not useful to look at our policies in a uh, zero-sum game where uh, if we take uh, something from uh, the government, uh, the consumers will gain. And if we give something to the consumers, the government will uh, lose. No, that is not the case. I think we have to look at our economy as a uh, dynamic uh, economic uh, system where you need to make sure that the market forces are at play. They are continuing to play with the continuing strength. So uh, with the rising prices, I think it's very important that uh, we uh, make sure that the purchasing power of our consumers are protected. Professor, you're talking about purchasing power and prices. They're, they're pushing for the suspension of the 12%, but medyo malaki yun eh. Kasi, you, because they want to control the price surge of fuel para hindi daw tumakas yung fare, yung logistics, yung price. Yun ang sinasabi ng mga vendors sa market. Eh, that we have no choice but to to increase our prices as well. Basic commodity siya. Fish and meat and everything. So, anong tingin nyo? Well, yun, yun ang mga nagpo-push ng excise tax. Uh, suspension lang naman. Uh, that's the least we can do right now no? to uh, suspend uh, or uh, defer increase in prices. Because once it, continue, once, once it increases, it will be very difficult to uh, hold them back. The uh, uh, suspension of the excise tax uh, will be the easiest to do now. It will have uh, uh, the uh, effect that, will, that we can see immediately. Uh, and uh, hold off on the uh, increasing prices. Once the prices continue to uh, increase, it will be very difficult to bring them back. It's like toothpaste, uh, you know, once it gets out of the tube, it will be very difficult to bring it back. You cannot put it back in a tube. Yes. But sir, you know, the, the problem is that uh, DOF and DOE appear to be speaking the same or saying the same tune. Uh, it's now a question of who has the ear of the president uh, to call a special session to get Congress to pass something. Otherwise, uh, we're stuck here. Well, uh, I think the president uh, should also uh, look at what's going on in the uh, markets right now. I'm not talking about the stock market. I'm talking about the groceries. I'm talking about mm. uh, the wet markets and see. Even without the uh, effect yet of uh, fuel uh, increasing its prices at the supply uh, end, uh, the market is already uh, uh, reacting, uh, in, perhaps in a speculative way, but uh, perhaps uh, also defending themselves, their position right now. There are people who are hoarding uh, uh, fuel. Of mm. course, they cannot uh, hoard uh, fuel. You can only uh, uh, gas up uh, uh, for, for your weekly uh, consumption, but you cannot really protect yourself by hoarding. 